Good day all. Today's presentation topic is on a very interesting concept called commutation of pension, which is covered under section 10, subsection 10A of the Income Tax Act 1961. Usually the concept of pension is associated with a government employee. And the same government employee, when he is in service, he receives a salary every month. And post-retirement, he will receive pension on a monthly basis. As I mentioned, it is associated with the employees who have served in government service post-retirement. And it is usually half the amount of last drawn salary, which is given as pension. And I just mentioned, the concept of pension is usually applicable to a retired, retired government employee. Though a few private employers may encourage their employees by bringing in the policy of pension post-retirement as well. So let's look at the concept of pension and commutation pension. Pension concept can be classified as periodical pension or commutation of pension. Periodical, just like salary, post-retirement, receiving pension on a monthly basis. Whereas commutation of pension would mean, you know, taking pension in a lump sum. Say for example, the pension amount is one lakh rupees. Say four fifth of that one lakh rupees, say 80,000 is commuted. So receiving pension in a lump sum is called as commuted pension. Now, periodical pension is fully taxable. Whereas commuted pension taxability depends on whether you are a government employee or whether you are a non-government employee. As far as commuted pension for a government employee is concerned, it is fully exempt from tax. And for a non-government employee, commuted pension depends on a very important factor, whether such a retired government employee or a non-government employee receives gratuity or not. If the non-government employee receives gratuity and also there is pension, then only one third of the full commuted value will be exempt. But if the same non-government employee does not receive gratuity, then half of the full commuted value will be exempt. So let's go through this chart once again. We have Pension being received either periodically, like for example, on a monthly basis, or you can take pension in a lump sum. That is called as commuted pension. Periodical pension, just like salary before retirement, is taxable post-retirement. So periodical pension is fully taxable, whereas commuted pension taxability depends on whether you are a government employee or whether you are a non-government employee. If you are a government employee, then commuted pension amount is fully exempt from tax. For a non-government employee, the commuted pension taxability depends on whether you are receiving gratuity or whether you are not receiving gratuity. Suppose if that employee receives gratuity, only one third of the full commuted value is exempt. That means to say, two-third of the full commuted value is taxable if gratuity amount is received. Similarly, for that non-government employee, if he does not receive gratuity, if gratuity is not received, half of the full commuted value will be exempt and the remaining half will be taxable. So that's all for this particular session. Thank you.